it's Macaria from Pixel Brothers. I thought I'd show you my X team. Like, obviously, I'm doing the play from Y, but here we go. This is a battle I've literally just had, and I thought it was quite quite a fun battle. So here we go. Right, I saw there was quite a few threats on his team, like this Landorus, and I thought, yeah, I'm going to send up my Tyranitar, because I think I'm going to catch him off guard here. It's Intimidate. Not going to play any effect to my Tyranitar at all. Because my Tyranitar is actually especially attacking Tyranitar. Um, it's got the Focus Sash, so that ain't going to kill me anyway. But then, Ice Beam to the face, you can say pretty much good night to this Landorus. And that's that took out. I love Mataranatar, he just catches people off guard so much. And then he sends out NT, and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna probably get revenge killed right now. And it's Shiny as well, it's like, ooh, Shiny. And then he uses extreme speed, and I thought, shit, revenge killed. But no, Tyranitar doesn't want to let me down, he's a fucking monster, and he's gonna paralyze the shit out of this NT. It's like, yeah, you might be Shiny, but now you're fucking seeing stars as well. Bastard. But then he's gonna take some sandstorm damage, which is always good. And then that means because obviously he's paralyzed, I get my earthquake off. But the intimidate means it's gonna be like lower anyway. And then he finally finishes Tyranitar off, but he's done his job. He's done he's done pretty well. Quite quite happy with his performance. So then I'm like, right, what should I do about this intimidate? It takes some obviously more sandstorm damage. And I thought, I can add can't really do that much to me. Like, I've got the flash fire and his life orbed, so he's gonna. He can't hit me with any fire moves, but then I don't kill him. And he gets an attack off. Like, he didn't get hacked at all. So annoyed. But then, obviously, with the sandstorm being up, we both take sandstorm damage, and he's pretty much dead. So that's good night, Shiny Ente. I had me worried there, he, he was the one who worried me the most out of his team. Because this wee Val didn't worry me because I've got a little surprise in the background. But he, he uses the Protect, which is... I don't know why he's used the Protect. And then, obviously my Flare Blitz done hit, but he's protected himself. I think he wanted me to take some Sandstorm damage, but it doesn't make a difference because it's subsided. Gets a Night Slash shot. Night slash off, and then Arcanine's dead. But he did his job as well. Got rid of that Arcanine, which is what I needed. And then we send out the beast of my team. This guy, if I'm ever losing, is definitely going to pull it back for me. Yeah, just going ahead. He's obviously a Mega Scissor, but he's kind of defensive. Like, he's not fully offensive, he's defensive. So then, obviously. It just takes him out of a bullet punch and that's good night and that's the end of the match. Right, just thought I'd put a match up instead of just like walkthroughs and stuff on my Y playthrough. But yeah, that's a preview of three of my Pokemon. I've got three of us like waiting in the wings. I'm going to actually train a Mudkip because I want a Marsh Stomp. I miss Marsh Stomp. Definitely my favourite starter. But yeah, um, uh like, comment and subscribe, um, if you want to battle my X-Team, let me know. Um, I have got a massive weakness, but I'm not going to tell you what it is, because obviously then you'll just base your team around it. So, yeah, um, check out my Y playthroughs, and the other guys are playing Pokemon MMO, so check that out as well. Alright, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!